Alright, man, 25 gamers, welcome to today's video. Today we're going to be taking a look at um, the 46 normal uh, man blitz complement to our zone blitz. What we like to do here, and the play is rush outside, and what we're going to do is we're going to base it line to show blitz, and this is going to work exactly like the blitz we used yesterday. We're going to spread our defensive line, we're going to crash our defensive line out. And then what we're going to do is we're going to re-blitz both defensive ends just like we did yesterday. And then I personally like to use the free safety. In this situation, I'll put him in a purple zone to the left side of the screen so that he goes out there on Randall. And at the snap of the ball, you're going to see we're going to send two guys free at the quarterback. Why is that important? Well, what, uh, first of all, it's good to have a man complement to your zone blitz so that they can't identify what coverage you're in. This is also effective for situations later on in the game when, they, when the, your opponent is going to be able to figure out hey, I can pick up his zone blitz if I block a tight end. Okay, so they block a tight end now, and you see we still get the pressure off the left side, and we actually get them to hesitate. They have fewer people out on a route this time, and uh, we're going to get a fumble and take it back to the house with Hatcher. Again, this is very important for the defense to be able to bring not only a man zone complement, but also what we can do with this, again, is we can send pressure, um, off of both edges. So here, uh, my opponent's going to block a halfback, and you're going to see that the pressure is still going to get loose. And in this situation, if he blocks a halfback, uh, we like to man up Lee on the, on the slot. And we like to really do that anyway if we have the time. See the block a halfback, we still get the pressure off the right edge. Everybody's manned up, and uh, decent coverage for, for the heavy pressure we're going to be sending. Now in this situation, sometimes what I like to do is... Um, set up the blitz and then once I set up the blitz I'm gonna adjust my coverage and, and one of the ways I like to adjust my coverage is I like to go zone on one side man on the other side so in the 46 normal what we would do is to the to the halfback side is where we would put the zone so we would shade Allen to the left here we would um, get on to Sean Lee here put him in a purple zone and they're gonna put Maurice Claiborne in a hook zone and now you see that the coverage from this is now actually really deceptive the zone on one side man on the other side um, yes, it takes time to set these plays up, but once you get to, once you get your reps in and once you work on this in practice mode, it's going to work a lot better. Again, base the line, so triangle, and then to the right. Show blitz, triangle, and then left D-pad to the left. Spread your line, L1, and then left D-pad up, and then crash your line out, L1. Flick the right analog stick up, and then re-blitz both guys. So click on to um, scroll over by hitting circle. Get on where and, and uh, hit X and then flick the right analog stick down and do the same thing for Spencer. Hit X, hit the right analog stick down. And then if we want a purple zone, X and then um, we're going to hit X and then we're going to hit right on the analogs, right on the left analog stick. And then what I like to do is shade my coverage to the left by hitting triangle and flicking left on the right analog stick. And then I like to put um, Mar uh, Maurice Claiborne here in a hook zone by hitting X and hitting down on the left directional pad and you see that's how we create the coverage from this and the pressure and it's just a really really good play to be using in your scheme guys I understand that the pressure can be daunting to set up at times you want to set these blitzes up way before you want to go into a game you don't want to go into a game until your adjustments are super quick uh, at least that's my opinion with this blitz. And then, you know, you can always, no reason we can't put purples to the outside, have a yellow on the inside. You know, you just adjust the coverage out of this. Um, and it's just a really good play, uh, in my opinion. And I like to use zone and man to complement it. And uh, I also do the same thing out of the fire zone three. Um, I'll man some guys up or whatever based off my defensive hot routes and, and the tendencies of my opponent. So that's the uh, that's the double double sided pressure blitz from the 46 normal formation. And uh, this concludes the defensive scheme of the week as far as the breakdowns part goes. So thank you guys for tuning into it this week. And then now we're going to get into a gameplay. We're going to be talking about how we like to run the scheme and, and what we like to read and, and what we like to do. So uh, be sure to stay tuned to uh, for the game of the week here coming up next. And, uh, or coming up tomorrow, and or if you're watching the archive of this, coming up next <laughs> in the series. So check out the gameplay, and then real quick before we go to that, um, guys, MaddenTips.com gave me a blessing and uh, allowed me to uh, give you guys a way to buy their e-guides on my YouTube channel. So if you check out the description, uh, you can check out the e-guides from MaddenTips.com. And I'm telling you right now, they're by far, uh, they are just really freaking good. Uh, if you guys want... If you guys want the best offense and the best defense, uh, I advise you to check out either Problems Playbook 
or MadTips.com's offensive and defensive playbook. Or what you could do is if you want both of those and then two additional guides throughout the season, you could check out um, Problems Pistol Playbook, Mad Tips' offensive playbook bundle, and then everything they have for the future of the, of the website. Um, you could check that out with the winner's kit for only $90 right now. And that's going to give you about, I think they said to me, I think it was like nine guides. So it works out to about 10 bucks a, a guide, which is a really, really good deal. So definitely want to check that out. And then um, that's in the description below. And then lastly, guys, if you're members of the YouTube channel, you appreciate what I've been doing here. You appreciate what the scheme of the week and all that. If you could just like the video. Today I'm not going to ask you to share. I'm just going to ask you to like it. I want to see how many likes we can get. Uh, and, you know, we've grown a lot in the last week. And uh, I want to see what you guys are made of. I want to I want to put you guys to the test. Let's see how many likes we can get. I'll tell you guys, if we get 1,000 likes, oh my gosh, man, that'd be crazy. Uh, it's a big goal. But uh, if you guys help me out, I'm sure we can do it. Uh, just let everybody know to like the video. And then uh, lastly, guys, real quick, uh, new subscribers or new gamers that are checking this video out, uh, this is to you. Basically what I want you guys to do right now is I want you to... Uh, I want you to, after I'm done talking, I want you to close this video. I want you to go to my YouTube channel. I want you to check out some of the previous videos so that you can get an idea about what I do here. You can read the introduction. You can check out the 4-3 free defensive guide I did last year and uh, check all that out. And uh, hopefully you guys will be attracted to it and uh, want more information, want more plays. And uh, then you'll subscribe and, and we'll live happily ever after. So thanks for watching, guys, and we'll see you in the gameplay.